Nigel actually should vote for Plaid Cymru because it's time for a change. We've had the same party in charge of our health service, in charge of bringing jobs, uh, in charge of our schools for 17 years and things need to change and move on. We've got a fully costed programme of government that I'll say a little bit more about in a minute that could bring about a transformation in our health service, bring jobs to this area that we desperately need and make sure that our economy grows and that our children and young people get the best education that they possibly can. People should vote for me because I've got a proven track record of standing up for Llanelli and backing important community campaigns. I was there when we campaigned to get the National Health Service to fund our hospice. I worked very hard with the Breast Care Centre ladies and with Mr Simon Holt and his team to bring our state-of-the-art breast care centre to Llanelli Hospital and not to Carmarthen, as was the plan. That was an investment of over £6 million in our hospital and I was very proud to be there the day that that opened and very proud indeed that Mr Simon Holt, the breast care surgeon, has endorsed me in this campaign as a candidate who really understands our community. When the economic crash hit in 2008, Plaid was working in, with, in government and we had the Ministry for Economic Development. I was able to work with companies across Llanelli, many of whom I can't name because they prefer things to be confidential, but Calsonic was one that I can talk about, both to protect jobs to retrain staff and to enable those, those staff to go on and to, and to grow those really successful businesses and it's great to see that happen. Uh, it's been really good to go back to Calsonic in this election campaign and see them employing twice as many people there now as they were at that time. So I've got a track record on campaigning for jobs, on protecting and developing our health services and very importantly too in supporting individual people. I worked with over 5,000 individuals and families on a range of problems, everything from health to immigration to benefits, and for all of those people we were able to get some improvement. One of the nice bits of this campaign for me has been meeting some of those individuals and families we helped and seeing the happy endings to some of those stories. I think it's a really important part of a local representative's job to stand up for individuals. So people should support Plaid because we can bring about the change that Wales needs and people should support me because I've got a proven track record on standing up for our town and our communities in Cardiff and speaking up for individuals when they need support. Well, I base my answer to this question on the messages that we're getting on the doorstep and we have knocked on thousands and thousands, I was going to say hundreds, but it is thousands and thousands of doors during this campaign. At the top of everybody's list is our health service. A lot of support for our fantastic doctors, nurses and other staff, but huge frustration in how difficult it is, how long people have to sit on waiting lists, uh, how badly managed our health service is. It's absolutely unbelievable that our local health board uh, put people in the position where a surgery had been closed and they hadn't even told the patients that the surgery had been closed and people were turning up on the doors. So the health service is really high up on, on Plaid's priorities. Uh, we would get rid of the seven health boards. We don't see why in a country the size of Wales we need seven chief executives, seven finance directors. We would have one national health service for Wales so that people could get access, fair access to services wherever they were. We would ensure that basic services like accident and emergency were available in all communities. But of course, we would then need specialised centres because times have changed. You know, when I was young, if you developed cancer, you wanted to see a cancer specialist. Now, if we develop can uh, breast cancer, so we want to see a breast care cancer specialist. If it's lung cancer, we want to see a lung cancer specialist. And so, of course, people will need to travel for some of those very specialised services. But basic services should be there in our communities. We would get rid of that bureaucracy. We would set national targets. One high priority for us would be, for example, that if you're suspected of having cancer and your GP refers you to a specialist, you shouldn't wait more than 28 days either for the all clear or to start your treatment. So we would set those high level targets, but then we would say to the doctors and nurses in our hospitals, you decide how to deliver those. You're the professionals, you know what, what's going to work. There's too much bureaucracy and micromanagement in our health service, and with the money that we could save by getting rid of the health boards over 10 years, uh, we would be able to create jobs for a thousand extra 
doctors and 5,000 extra nurses in Wales and that could make a huge difference to our health services here in Llanelli. And of course at a local level uh, I would campaign very strongly to ensure that we got the, our fair share of health services. I mean, for example, when I was RAM, I was getting lots of inquiries about national health dentists. By running a successful campaign and collecting literally hundreds and hundreds of names of people who needed an NHS dentist in the community, we were able to force the Welsh Government to create a new dental service here. So I've got that track record there. Jobs are very high up on uh, people's list of issues of what they're concerned about. Even older people who have perhaps retired themselves are really worried about having good quality jobs in our communities. And Plaid Cymru's got lots of practical plans to address that issue. We would create 50,000 new apprenticeships in Wales and we wouldn't necessarily restrict those either just to young people because with the changes in our industries there are lots of older people who may need to change careers and we think they should have access to apprenticeships too. One thing we would not do is spend a billion pounds, and I haven't got my figures wrong, it's a billion pounds, on building a new bypass for Newport, which is what Labour intends to do. Of course that blockage on, that, on the M4 needs to be sorted out, but there are other cheaper ways that you could do that, and that would leave a Plaid Cymru government with £600 million that we could spend on improving our infrastructure, that's our roads, our railways, our access to broadband, our access to mobile phones, so that we could help grow our businesses across Wales. We put a very high priority on supporting the growth of local business. Of course it's important to attract international companies in, uh, but we don't think that's enough because we think that if you grow local businesses, and we've looked at examples in places like Germany for example, those businesses will stay. Now in Wales we've got a lot of really small businesses with one or two people working in them and some really really big ones. We need to enable those small companies to grow so we would be taking the government's economic development budget and working with those small companies to help them turn into medium-sized into medium-sized companies and to help them do that we would say that all the contracts that our public sector so let's say when we build a new school we set that out to a private builder a lot of our catering contracts are private contracts all of those should be let first of all to businesses within wales and should only go outside wales if there's something really really specialized uh, and if we could do that, within five years we could create 40,000, or 43,000 to be exact, new jobs here in Wales. So jobs are very high priority, health service are very high priority. People are also concerned about our education system. We used to be really proud of education in Wales, we used to be a world leader. You know, my father was one of the first generation of people who was able to go to university because his county council gave him a student loan before the Second World War. We need to make sure that those sorts of opportunities are available to our young people here in Wales now. Well, I talked a bit in my earlier answer about some of Plaid Cymru's really practical policies to transform our health service, to bring jobs into our communities. Another really high priority for us would be ending the division between health and social care. We think that it's really, really wrong that if Mrs Jones is frail and elderly and she needs help to have a bath, we have a complicated system to decide if it's a medical bath, in which case it's provided by a nursing assistant and she gets it for free, or if it's a, a social bath, whatever that may be, it's provided by a different kind of care assistant and she has to pay for that. This is the generation of people who worked so hard for people like me to be able to have a good education and to have opportunities. And we think that we as a generation owe it to them to move to the situation as they have in Scotland where care is free for all. We couldn't do that overnight because the Welsh budget isn't big enough, but we would begin by providing free home care for all people suffering from dementia. And we would then move to take away those boundaries between health and care that are so expensive to run themselves. I touched in an earlier answer on education, and there's much more to be said about that. Our teachers tell us that they have initiative after initiative after initiative from the Labour Welsh Government. They never have time to work those through and they're not given time, they're spending so much time on paperwork, they haven't got time to spend with their students. We would get rid of that, again we would set high priorities of what we wanted our education service to achieve and then we would leave our teachers free 
to teach. We think that's absolutely vital. We would also change teachers' pay and conditions so that if teachers got higher level qualifications in teaching practice, they could progress in their careers while staying in the classroom. At the moment, if you want to develop a career in teaching, you have to end up being a deputy head, a head, and you spend less and less time with children, and we want to change that. There's so much more that I could say in five minutes. Um, I think it's interesting that Clyde's manifesto is almost 200 pages long and Labour's is barely 20. Uh, we're full of ideas about how we can make our country the country that we all deserve to live in. We don't believe that Wales is bound to be poor. We don't believe that we're always going to have to depend on others for handouts. We really believe that working together we can bring about the change that Wales needs and I want to play a part in that. I want to be part of the change that Llanelli needs and part of the change that our nation needs because I know that the people of Llanelli are amazing. If the enterprising spirit that I see, especially amongst women in our poorest communities, moving little bits of money around, doing favours for each other just to get by, if we could create, take that entrepreneurial spirit that's here and use that to create jobs and, and, and build wealth, we could be one of the most prosperous countries in the world. I firmly believe that. There's so much more I want to say, and I can feel my five minutes ticking away, but also in terms of our environment, which is so important for our young people. I'm incredibly proud that the independent charity Friends of the Earth has actually rated Clyde Cymru's manifesto as a greener manifesto than the manifesto of the Green Party itself. We believe that we have to protect our natural environment and develop our natural resources for generations to come. So if you feel that it's time for change in Wales, if you feel that this is not as good as it gets for our communities, for our children, for our vulnerable elderly, then this is the time to vote for Clyde. Vote for me and vote for the change that Wales needs.